hi y'all welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing a special edition today we're going to be doing a collaboration with makeup by emily and i'm so excited this is my first collaboration i think it's hers too so today we're going to be doing a top 10 under 10 and so let's go ahead and get started i have a little bit from each category and then if you go to makeup by emily's channel you'll see that she also has top 10 under 10 so i'm super excited and i hope y'all enjoy thank you Okay, let's go ahead and get started with eye products because y'all know that I always start off with my eye products. So my first product is the Milani Eye Primer. I love this primer so much. I think it's $4.99 depending on where you get it at. It's a little squeeze tube. But you just need a little bit and it goes one way. It's like kind of a, just like your skin kind of color. It's not like a yellow shade or anything, but it's so perfect. It's really inexpensive and it makes your eyeshadows stay. They don't crease. They make them vibrant. I love this. This is a staple in my collection. I always like to use this one. Okay, so next for eyeshadows. Some of my favorite eyeshadows, and they're somewhat new uh, to the drugstore, but they've been out for, I feel like they've been out for three or four months now at least. But um, I went ahead and put it in this like small little Makeup Geek Z palette. And it is the Maybelline Expert Eyeshadows. More specifically, they're newer ones that they've kind of reformulated. And these are three shades that I have right here. This shade right here is Soft Pearl. As you can see, it's like a really pretty creamy pearl shade. And I'll do a little swatch for you. So that's what it looks like. There you go. Now you can kind of see it. So it's really pretty. And then the other shades, this one is called Nude Glow. I feel like this one is kind of like a champagne -y shade. Let's swatch this for y'all. I mean, that is just so pigmented. Look at that. Top one is soft pearl. The bottom one below it is nude glow. And the next one is called the Glow Down. And it's more of like a truer gold shade. That's what it looks like in the pan. I have these depotted, so they normally they come in their own little casing but let's do one good swatch and you can see it's so pretty there you go see the shade right there it's beautiful so i love these shades i believe these are 3.99 or 4.99 and they uh you can get them on sale all the time at ulta they normally have buy one get one 50 percent off and stuff like that so i love them so much and i went ahead and depotted them because i feel like i never use single eyeshadows unless I put them like together in a palette. They're normally in my big palette which I'll have seen my um, single eyeshadow collection video. I normally keep them in there but I just put them in here so y'all can see it easier. So I love those. Okay next let's go ahead and keep going like in kind of order of my makeup. These I tried looking up like the price for these and I hope they're not uh discontinuing them but I, I saw that you can still get them at Walmart I know for sure I couldn't find them on ulta.com anymore but uh, they're the Rimmel Scandal Eyes it's their shadow stick and they come like this and I love shadow sticks when you're like in a hurry this one is in the shade bluffing I have quite a few shades but I'll go ahead and swatch this one kind of at my wrist that's what it looks like it's kind of a taupey shade it's so pretty they're so easily they stay you like just I kind of just draw them on and then use my finger to kind of press it in you can even kind of bring it up to your crease if you want to just like simple on the go and I just love these so much they don't budge they don't move I can put my eyeliner on top of it like after I get it done and it's already like dried down and I'm good to go so these are really great and I believe they're $4.99 okay next let's go ahead and go in yeah with face products okay this little gem is the e.l.f. Flawless uh, Foundation. This is awesome. And this actually has a pump, which is so great, and it's only $6. It's so cool. Uh, there's not really, there's kind of a smell, like a sunscreen-y kind of smell, but it doesn't really bother me. And I do have sensitive skin, and it's not really a bother for me. I think it's, I, um, I heard about this a while back from GM Beauty 89, I believe. And oh my god, it's so great. It's just as good as most uh, high-end foundations. I feel like it's maybe a little comparable to uh, the Too Faced Born This Way. I don't know. I'd have to do like a comparison on that. And I'm not sure. But I'm going to go ahead and use it on my other hand. I'm just going to pump out a little bit. Just 
had because I don't want to waste it. It's pretty thick, but I have dry skin and it works really well. And here you go. There it is on my hand. And then I'm going to blend it out. As you can see, it's very full coverage. Like you can't see my veins or anything on my hand. That's what I love about it. It's so hard to find a drugstore full coverage foundation, more specifically for dry skin. And I feel like this one is pretty. And it does, I feel like it kind of gives like a glow to your skin. This isn't the same hand I did my swatches on, just to let you know. So, just so you can see it by itself. But it gives like a glow. And it's just beautiful. I love it so much. I'm going to get a makeup wipe to wipe this stuff off my hands. I can do more swatches for y'all but I just really love it it's a great foundation for six bucks and it has a pump which is why I think like there's so many foundations that they're like well you know a lot of times they'll be like it's uh they don't have a pump because it costs more but it's like this foundation is six bucks and they can still put a pump on it so come on people and just to show I'm trying to wipe off that uh I don't know if you can still see it right there and I can't really quite get it. It's taken some work to get off that uh, normal eyeshadow stick. So it definitely stays. Okay, let's go ahead and go in next. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and go in. I don't have an actual brow like pencil or anything yet. But um, it's just so hard for me to find a good brow pencil. I had for a while the L'Oreal Brow Stylus Pencil. But I felt like, I don't know, it just what, they didn't have the right shades for me. And I felt it was like almost too creamy for me personally. It's, it's the worst for a lot of people I know. But for me personally, it was just a little too creamy and it was too pigmented for your brows. Like you don't need something like an eyeshadow for your brows. So, but anyway. But this is the L'Oreal Brow Stylus Plumper Brow Gel. And it's the, I just use the clear and I love this. This is my favorite brow gel. Like when I'm using a pencil and stuff like that. It's got a really great little brush. This is $9.99. And this is just a great, it keeps my brows in place. They don't make them look crunchy. I don't know if y'all have had that experience before, but it's the worst. And I just really like it. So that's my favorite brow gel. It's actually my favorite brow gel of all time. Not even just under $10. So that one was right at the mark. That was $9.99, but it's a great one. And then let's go ahead and go in with concealer. As you can see, this one is well loved. I need to get some more. I just have this much left. <laughs> I think it'll last me a little bit. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I believe this is $8.99, but you can get it on sale also. You could get like one of the eyeshadows and this and get one 50% off. Or you know, you could get like three eyeshadows, like all three of these eyeshadows in this one and get buy one, buy one get one 50% off on both of them. So that would be a great deal. This one I love. It's not too, too full coverage, but it's a great for under your eyes. Sometimes you don't want something too full coverage under your eyes, especially if you're not wearing a full coverage foundation you don't want it to be like why is the rest of your skin you can kind of see it peeking through and then your under eyes are just like bam you know i've made that mistake before using like a lower coverage foundation and then using like tart shape tape Whew, mistake but anyway this one is a good like medium coverage and it's just perfect it's so creamy a lot of people don't like the applicator i love it it's like a spongy kind of i feel like it's so soft under your eyes it blends out so great so yeah, that one is my favorite. It might even be my, I don't know, my favorite like of all time is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, but this one, I might even like a little bit more. So $8.99, you need to pick this one up if you haven't already. Next, uh, let's go in with some face kind of products. I love this Essence Satin Blush. This one specifically is in the shade uh, Satin Love. And it's so pretty, like, it's really like smooth and buttery. You probably can't see it. It's kind of like a neutrally kind of color. Yeah, you can't see it. It's so pretty. It's got a slight glow to it, but not really too much. And it's just so beautiful. And it's only $2.99. I mean, thank you. Thank you so much for being inexpensive and good quality. And they also have another one, which I did pick up recently. So I don't really want to include that in it, like saying both of them, because I haven't really tested out enough. But I know this one for sure is a great quality. And it's only $2.99. Next, let's go ahead and go in. Let me wipe my fingers off a little. Next is a highlighter. Now, you can't actually get this at the drugstore, but it is under $10. I believe it's $8. And it's the ColourPop. It's their uh, Super Shop Cheek products. And this is what it looks like. Excellent drop mine, so I kind of had to put it back together a little bit. But this is in the shade Smoke and Whistles. And it is so beautiful. There's nothing like the ColourPop shadows. They have like a creamy 
not really putty, but kind of just like a cream. It is like a cream to powder. I'm going to go ahead and swatch this on my hand. Y'all see that? Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. It's kind of like a cool champagne kind of color. It's so beautiful. Ugh, I love this so much. And this is by Colourpop and it's so pretty. Eight dollars. You've got to pick this up. They have a lot of pretty shadows. I have a whole bunch. If y'all haven't checked out my single eyeshadow collection, check that out. I have a lot of their Super Shock shadows and they're so pigmented and so pretty. So if y'all haven't tried it out, y'all are missing out. So check that out. Next, let's go ahead and go with some lip products. Now, I don't use lip products all the time. As y'all might have uh, seen in one of my videos, like I just, I'm not a big lip person just because like I have my son and I don't want to get it all over him and everything. So, but my favorite, like it's not lipsticks. I do not like liquid, li liquid lipsticks just because I feel like they're so drying. But my favorite is glosses. I'm always like a glossy type girl. And these are so beautiful. These are just like the same kind, they're just different shades. But it's the Rimmel glosses and it's called, they're called the Rimmel Stay Glossy glosses. These are beautiful. They're like kind of a little bit thicker. They remind me of the Marc Jacob glosses because they're kind of like thick and they like stay in place. They're not too sticky though or anything like that. But this one is in the shade, I think this is Blushing Belgrave. I'll go ahead and do a swatch for you. I still have that swatch on, on my hand though. Let's go ahead and take that off just so it's not distracting us from the gloss. I'll do this swatch and it's got kind of like a flat paddle for the uh, doe foot applicator but here's one swatch and it's so pretty this is kind of like a pinky mommy nude so pretty and then the next one is it's in the shade Dorchester Rose this one is a lot lighter it's kind of like a nude shade I don't know if it's really going to pick up, but it's got like a little bit of pinkiness to it. I'm going to go ahead and do a couple coats just so you can kind of see it. But you see how glossy those are? Oh, it's so beautiful. Okay, I'm going to take those swatches off. I love those. And those are $4.99. Beautiful. Rimmel has some really affordable prices on stuff. And lastly, it's the Mario Badescu uh, facial sprays. I have a couple of these actually. Is lastly is these sprays. I have both of them. As you can see, I'm almost out of this one. This one is my favorite. Actually, they're both my favorite. I'm just saying that because this one is a little bit newer. They're seven dollars and they're great. They don't really. I use them to set my makeup sometimes, like if I don't need something to elongate them. But uh, this is really great to set down your powders. Just even if you don't want to use it, like for your makeup purposes, like for skincare. Sometimes I use it as like a toner, especially this one, the rose water one. And I use them just like if I'm hot, you know, and I'm like outside, sometimes I keep them in my purse. This is actually the, I believe this is the biggest size. These are $7, sorry, I forgot to say that. They're $7, but they have a smaller size that I believe is 4 But these are, they're so inexpensive and they last you a long time. Like I used to, uh, sometimes I forget, but I used to like every day after I got out of the shower use this. And it still lasts me like months. So it's really great. And for only $7, so wonderful. These are really great. This one is the um, facial spray with alloy, herbs, and rose water and it smells so good. And this one is the facial spray with alloy, cucumber, and green tea. I brought this one with my vacation lately because I was like in the sun a lot and I thought that the, it would just be more cooling. It was also really great because we got hot and like my husband really likes this to all like spray it on his face sometimes. But it's really great if you're like hot or like out in the summer and sometimes like just even at night or whatever I'll just like spray it on my face and go in front of the fan it just feels so nice and cooling but it's also great to set down your powders and there's just so many great stuff it's good for so those are I think all of my 10 products so I'm so excited I love all these products so much they're like in my holy grail of makeup I love them so much and they're so affordable so I hope y'all really enjoy I'm gonna link the products below if y'all want to go check it out, I really suggest you do because they're wonderful and they're such an affordable price and it's so nice to have products when they're affordable without having to pay like an arm and a leg because I just feel like lately they just keep lifting up prices on stuff lately and it's just ridiculous. But I hope y'all enjoyed. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to go check out, check out Makeup My Emily's channel. She's awesome. Please uh, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank y'all so much. Bye.